Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Before we begin, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday, and as always, be sure to like and provide comments. Next to your social security number, your driver's license number is one of the most important pieces of information to keep from identity thieves. It is valuable because it contains obviously your driver's license number, your birth date, address, even things like height, eye color, and your signature that could potentially be used for some type of social engineering attack. Your driver's license number can be taken from you in two ways. First, it can be stolen through a data breach. And second, your license can be physically stolen or go missing. And depending on the situation, how you're going to react to each is a little different. Millions have been surprised when they receive a data breach notification and are informed that their driver's license number has been included in that data breach. If you are notified by an organization that your driver's license number has been compromised in a data breach, there's two things you can do. One is sign up for credit monitoring services. While there doesn't initially seem to be a direct connection between driver's license and credit, the reality is your driver's license number could be added to additional data that's available on the dark web for sale um, and could be used for true name fraud in the future. And that those type of issues in terms of opening credit would show up in it as part of your credit report. The second is sign up for a paid ID protection service. There are a few services out there that specifically will allow you to monitor uh, your driver's license number. And this is valuable because if your driver's license number does show up in the dark web over and over again, then obviously your risk profile increases. So it is a good idea to maybe be notified about that. Some experts do suggest you reach out to the DMV. Um, I, I, this is not a suggestion that I would have for you. Um, just because your driver's license was part of a data breach, um, there's no need to run out and get a new driver's license. And the DMV just notifying them that your driver's license number was part of a data breach, there's no immediate action that they're, they're gonna take other than they're gonna ask you, well, do you want a new driver's license then? And so, like I said, I don't think there's a real value in getting a driver's license just because it was part of an initial data breach. If it is used, if after this happens, you, you all of a sudden you see um, fraud on your credit report and you see other potential issues related to this specific driver's license number, then you maybe want to go and get a new one issued to you. If your driver's license is stolen or it's just misplaced and you're not sure if it is in the wrong hands, um, this definitely opens you up to a variety of fraud and identity theft options. So first, contact the DMV to report the stolen or lost license. They will tell you how to proceed to replace your license and what to do about driving until it was replaced. Each state is slightly different. If it is for sure stolen, then definitely contact the police and file a uh, report so you have a paper trail. Whether it's stolen or whether it's lost, um, Sign up for credit monitoring services, as I mentioned earlier. Um, this type of data can be combined with other pieces of data and be used for um, financial fraud in the future. Also, as I mentioned, sign up for a paid ID protection services uh, that offer monitoring of driver's license numbers. Um, so in case your driver's license, when it's physically stolen or lost and ends up in the wrong hands, it could be resold on the dark web. So it would be a good idea to track that to see if there's additional uh, actions you should potentially take in the future. Also, um, in this particular case, um, sign up for a background check to make sure the thief did not use your driver's license number to cover their traffic violations. So this is one very practical use specific to having a driver's license number stolen or the driver, driver's license physically stolen. Um, so check, do this background check maybe every three months for about a year. If it's clean after a year, then you're, you're probably safe. Uh, and lastly, change the locks on your doors. Uh, after all, since you're obviously your name and your address are on your license, this potentially could open you up to um, obviously uh, theft in the future or someone breaking into your home. So hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, 
subscribe, and provide comments, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell in order to check out future videos published twice a week.